क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज द इंजन ऑफ अ ट्रेन प्रोड्यूसिंग साउंड ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी वन टू फोर जीरो हर्ट्स इज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स अ हिल विद अ स्पीड ऑफ सेवेंटी टू किलोमीटर्स पर आर द अपेरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द रिफ्लेक्टेड साउंड ऑब्जर्व बाय द ट्रेन इज द स्टूडेंट्स इट इज गिवन दैट द स्पीड ऑफ साउंड इज थ्री थर्टी मीटर्स पर सेकेंड दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द डॉपलर इफेक्ट एंड द अपेरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी एफ डैश वो है वैल्यू ऑफ एफ इन टू v plus v not divided by v minus v s, where v s is the speed of source, which is the train, and it has a speed of seventy two kilometers per hour, which is equal to twenty meters per second. Here v not is the speed of the observer, which is the driver and the train itself, and hence it has the same speed as the v of source. V that is the speed of sound is given to be equal to three thirty meters per second. On substituting the given values in this expression, we can write down that F dash would be equal to one two four zero multiplied by three thirty plus twenty divided by three thirty minus twenty. This turns out to be equal to fourteen hundred hertz, and hence the correct answer for this question is option number three. Now let us proceed to the question number seven. Question number seven says the root mean square speed of oxygen gas molecules is v. If the absolute temperature of gas becomes four times and oxygen molecules dissociate into oxygen atoms, then new root mean square speed will be. Dear students, the root mean square speed can be calculated using the formula of under root three R T by m. Where T is the absolute temperature and m is the molar mass. Now, dear students, since the oxygen gas molecules dissociate into oxygen atoms, the final molar mass would be half of the initial molar mass. Also, the final temperature is four times the initial temperature. On substituting these values and finding out the new RMS speed, we can write down that the new RMS speed will be. Under three R T final by M final, which will be under root three R multiplied by four T divided by M by two, which will be equal to two root two into initial V R M S, and initial V R M S is given to be equal to V. Therefore, it will be equal to two root two into V, and hence the correct answer for this question is option number four. Now let us proceed to the question number eight. Question number eight says: Figure shows graph of pressure versus density of an ideal gas at two temperatures T1 and T2. We have to find out that which of the following option is correct. That is, T1 is less than T2, T1 is greater than T2, T1 is equal to T2, or option number four, which says any of the three is possible. Dear students, from the ideal gas equation, PV is equal to n R T. we can write down that pv is equal to small m by capital m into rt where small m and capital m are the mass and the molar mass of the gas respectively from this expression we can write down that p is equal to rt by m into m by v now dear students this value of m by v is actually the density therefore p is equal to rt by m into rho which means that the graph between the density and pressure would be a straight line and the slope of that straight line will be rt by m therefore greater the slope greater is the value of the temperature we can see that the slope at temperature t1 is greater than the slope at temperature t2 and hence t1 should be greater than t2 therefore dear students option number 2 is the correct answer now let us discuss the next question which is question number 9 Question number nine says the pressure of an ideal gas can be written as P is equal to two e by three v. Here e by v refers to the students from the kinetic theory of gases. Pressure can be written to be equal to one by three m into n into v r m s square divided by v. Now the students here n is the number of molecules and m is the mass of one molecule. This can be written to be equal to one by three. Into two, into one by two, m v r m s square divided by v. Dear students, we can write down this to be equal to two e 
by 3v. Therefore, in this expression, E is equal to 1 by 2 m v r m s square. Now, dear students, this value is the value of the translational kinetic energy per unit volume. Dear students, therefore, this E is the translational kinetic energy. We have to find out the value of E by V, which is the translational kinetic energy per unit volume. And therefore, dear students, option number 3 would be the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the question number 10. Question number 10 says, the graph between restoring force F and displacement X from mean position in simple harmonic motion is. Dear students, in simple harmonic motion, the relation between the force and the displacement can be written as F is equal to minus Kx where k is the force constant. Therefore, dear students, the graph is a straight line with a negative slope. Dear students, therefore, the graph which correctly represents this condition, the graph as in option number 2, and therefore, option number 2 is the correct answer for this question. Now, let us discuss the question number 11. 